Hello and welcome to the Racers TV. After a light week last week, well, it's a busy weekend. We've got the long weekend, of course, and we see the commencement of the Over the Rainbow Jumping Series, a hurdle on the program at Morfordville on Saturday, and there's a steeple on the program at Murray Bridge on Monday. Sandwich in between, we go racing at Port Augusta as we edge closer to Port Augusta Cup Day coming up on Sunday, July 7. And next Wednesday, we're racing at Strathalbyn. Amy Herman, our special guest. The Over the Rainbow Jumping Series getting underway with a hurdle on Saturday at Morfordville and a steeple at Murray Bridge on Monday. Amy, uh, you've pretty much become the face of jumping in South Australia. Yeah, Terry, um, it's very exciting at the moment and a couple of nice horses coming up. And you must have been really excited a fortnight ago when Demosa won and gave you your first win over the jump. So I understand you've done basically all of the education work with the horse. You rode him in the Adelaide Cup as well, which would have been a big thrill, a bigger thrill winning the hurdle, no doubt. Yeah, it was even great for Barry, like he's been a great support to me, so and the horse is just absolutely beautiful to work with and um, pleasure. He's got a tough contract on Saturday, a Macedonian from the Peter Moody yard, there's a big boom on him and, and King Triton who pushed you here a fortnight ago lines up again as well. Yeah, it's going to be a nice race, um, big good tempo in it, so it's, you know, definitely, hopefully Demosa steps up again and it's definitely going to see where we're at in the long run and if we travel to Victoria. What about on Monday at Murray Bridge in the steeple there? You'll ride cash advance for uh, John O'Connor from Murray Bridge. You did win a steeple school on the horse recently. Yeah, I went and trolled him at Murray Bridge uh, last week and he went really good and he was quite competitive at Warrnambool until uh, lost his rider coming down the hill. But um, yeah, loves Murray Bridge, so fingers crossed. Would be nice to see you pull off that unique double of winning a jumping race and a flat race. Let's have a look at your other rides on Saturday at Morfordville. Firstly, Impulse Buy in race number four. We keep talking about this great story. A horse picked out by Gordon Richard's wife, Jackie. They bought the horse for $1,000 and he's got $91,000 in the bank already. Yeah, he's such a great little horse. He's, um, he's only small, but he's just done so well. And with the weight, he doesn't seem to bother him. Keeps flying the line really good, so fingers crossed we can... Hopefully go one better. Doesn't know how to run a bad race really, does he? No, he just tries his heart out. That's the best thing, unless he tries. Like, so many horses don't and he's just so tough, which is great. Two of your other rides here on Saturday are last start Balaclava winners. They're going to find it a bit tougher this weekend. Firstly, Exalted Angel in race five. Yeah, um, I trolled her last prep. I was really happy with her. She quite didn't come up, but um, she's come back this prep and she's obviously won first up at um, Balaclava. So fingers crossed she can go on with it. And Castano Girl, a last start Balaclava winner trained by Kylie Huxtable. You won on the, the filly that day. Yeah, um, rode her a little bit different too. Went forward from a wide gate. Um, she's probably preferentially still to get back. But um, I was really happy with her runs in town prior to that. A little bit unlucky at Strath and just couldn't get any luck on her. So I don't think coming to town will be much trouble. And Dulcie D in the last, probably unlikely to get a run, although you never know where through the, the winter months there can be a lot of scratchings. Yeah, uh, fingers crossed. Um, her run last start was really good. Um, Wanda Lane marginally got it into the left and outside of Balak and found the line really good. So it'd be nice if we can get that extra bit of distance and get a run here, but we'll, we'll see. And you seem to be working well with your manager, Mal James? Yeah, he's doing really good. He's um, tried to get me a day off on Sunday, which was good. So now we're going to Warnable Tuesday, which he's impressed about. But um, getting me lots of rides, so I'm very happy with him. Good luck on the weekend, Amy. OK, big thank you to Amy Herman as we look at uh, the jumping races coming up on the weekend. Firstly, the Morfordville program on Saturday. Race one is the hurdle. There's Amy on the top weight, Demosa. Her three kilo claim will be important. Macedonian will run favourite. King Triton was a great second behind Demosa here a fortnight ago. Race number three on the program. John O'Connor at Morfordville has got his team going really well. He's got two in this race. Road Warrior who heads the weights and also Lady Dynamo. That should be an interesting race, the third. And race number seven on the program, looking forward to this sprint race. Hopefully this field holds up. The weight's headed by Esprit de Bullet and Streetcar Magic. El Magico for Lloyd Kennewell. We'll see him once again in action on Saturday. And on Monday at Murray Bridge, the steeplechase. We have a look at the program there, or the, the steeple on the program there. Half Moon Rising, 73 and a half kilos. He'll still be hard to beat. Julie Ladd's the other big chance as far as the Victorians are concerned. Let's hope that Cash Advance runs well for Amy Herman and John O'Connor at Murray Bridge. Just a reminder, we're into June now, so only two months of the racing season left. And don't forget the big industry awards night and Hall of Fame dinner. It's coming up in August on Saturday the 24th of August to be hosted by Sky Racing's Greg Radley. Tickets are $90 each. For further details, phone TRSA on 8179 9804. We'll see you again next week. There's nothing like a day at the races.